It began nearly two centuries ago, a response to the needs of Catholics in the United States. It was based on a plan to provide the church with well-trained native-born priests. Its foundation was clear, faith in Christ, fidelity to the church, and service to God's people. For more than 180 years, the result of this response, this plan, and this foundation has formed thousands of priests, deacons, and lay ministers for the church. It is the Athenaeum of Ohio Mount St. Mary's Seminary. And there's uh, a lot of uh, potential, a lot of hope, and, and uh, the Athenaeum is certainly one aspect of uh, this archdiocese that uh, those who know about it are very enthusiastic, and, uh, and those who are not familiar with it, as we go around and explain the Athen Athenaeum, the enthusiasm only grows. As we discover uh, the call that Christ gives to us, the more we learn about who we are. Uh, God calls, Christ calls, uh, he also equips. And it is when we respond generously to that call, uh, it is then that every uh, talent in our being begins to, to come to full life. And that's when we experience uh, a peace, a joy, a fullness of life that we can in no other way. I love this place. It is, um, not only is it physically beautiful and uh, has 75 acres, it has glorious art, it's just a beautifully put together building, but there's a spirit in here that has always been um, life-giving for me. And there's a vibrancy of the community, there's a happiness here, and I believe in what we do. It's a very special place. It's the future of the Catholic Church. For all of us, uh, God is in our lives and, and touches us. And um, whether we're here pursuing uh, some type of uh, further education or whether we're just out in the world. And what we can do and what we can learn from here is how to relate and how to bring that message to people in our church and beyond. It is a terrific treasure. And um, as wonderful as it is, it's still kind of a secret to most people. And hopefully, my hope anyway, is that treasure will get more exposure. And uh, I think a lot of people will find out what wonderful things are happening here. I feel like the experiences that I had here and continue to have here make me a better person. It's always a joy and a privilege. It's just I get to journey with these people and helps me in my own spiritual journey. For many, it is where they find their calling, and from that path, they help us find our way. Coming to the seminary was rooted in a, hearing a call and then responding to it and taking the step to see if this is where God wanted me to be. Our society, our culture, needs to hear the message of Christ. And that is not just the, the responsibility of the bishops, the priests, and the deacons. It's the responsibility of every one of us as a Christian, that uh, as followers of Christ, we are to know the gospel and to teach the gospel. I love watching a guy who comes in who is kind of back and forth on a vocation and watch him deepen through the years so that at the very end, when he is asked, are you ready and willing to be ordained? He can say yes. I really felt that this was a good place to continue my education and continue my discernment and study for the priesthood. We're a, a multifaceted place that we are a seminary and that's very core to what we do. That's very central to what we do. But also we have the lay ministry project and the lay ministry program, the um, permanent diaconate, then we have special studies. We have people in and out all the time. This place is never quiet. It's a special education, particularly for the seminarians. There are a number of seminaries around the country, and thank God for them. But we have a special addition to our education in my way of thinking. People that are there want to make a difference. One of our great goals here with any guy is to take him and to help him become the best human being he can be first and then work through the academic, the spiritual, the pastoral dimensions that he'll need to minister effectively to God's people. Mount St. Mary's Seminary as a, as a place of study is, 
an incredible opportunity to, to come and completely immerse yourself into the mindset and the history and the theology that the church has to offer us. The Word of God proclaimed uh, courageously, faithfully, completely. Uh, it, has, it has a life all its own. And so this is the Word uh, that, and the message of Christ that our students must study. And it is through that that they're going to transform the world. And we provide them all the resources that we possibly can and with excellent uh, uh, instructors and uh, excellent library and resources. The library is very special. Uh, it's one of the uh, more, most prominent uh, theological libraries in the country. It's open to everybody. People don't know that. I think they think often that, you know, oh, it's the seminary library, so they, they can't come here. But anybody in the archdiocese can come and utilize our library. It's this extraordinary resource we have. It's, it's like a, any school or a, a college. Uh, you need to keep updated with your classrooms and all the technology that uh, exists. In preaching the word and learning to uh, bring the message of Christ to the world, we have to use all the modern means of communication. Well, uh, we are doing that at the Athenaeum by providing, by instructing them with means of the, all of the new technology that is available today. What is wonderful is that at each stage where there was a change in the uh, form that this place took, it was responding to the needs of the time. The campaign for the Athenaeum, investing in our future, preserving our legacy, is an historic and ambitious effort that will match the breadth and vision of our archdiocese. Through this fundraising initiative, the Athenaeum of Ohio seeks to raise $15,750,000 to invest in the current curriculum and facilities while preserving the Athenaeum's mission and improving its effectiveness in preparing men for the priesthood and diaconate, as well as lay people for their formation as ecclesial ministers. The campaign will address four key components. Strengthening the annual fund, the annual fund is the financial lifeblood of the Athenaeum of Ohio. Vocations program and student recruitment. Recognizing the need to grow and expand all programs, the Athenaeum will implement a vocation and student recruitment plan to engage the best students for the lay pastoral ministry program and the special studies division. Faculty and staff endowment. Fiscal stability is critical to any educational institution. The endowment of critical faculty and staff positions is vital to retaining faculty members of great talent and stature. An increased endowment will ensure academic excellence and long-term viability for the Athenaeum of Ohio. Building improvements. From Beechmont Avenue, the pillars, terracotta tiles, and arched windows of the Athenaeum welcome all. The current and potential utilization of the building combined with the natural wear and tear of decades past, have contributed for the need to replace the windows and the roof, renovate the Bartlett Center, and upgrade the technology. Investing in our future, preserving our legacy. The last thing that the church needs is a museum. What you need is some place that really answers people's needs and is alive. Here's the future, here's the uh, the priests, the ministers, the deacons, people that are going to serve our church, you know, all come through here, all have uh, a real formative experience here. And so it's so important that it be, um, you know, effective, that it be you know, up to date, that it be able to do its mission well, because that's going to help the church do its mission well. We need uh, more folks uh, to help fill in as we try to add more priests, uh, and, and that's happening. Primarily, my responsibility is director for our CIA, um, bringing adults into the church, adults that are either unbaptized and uncatechized, or adults who have been baptized in another Christian denomination that are looking to be received into the church. The most important thing about this campaign is that it's, it's needed, it's necessary uh, for the continued uh, vibrant spirit that we have here and to increase the level of, uh, of education and training for the church's ministers. I like 
uh, very much what um, St. Paul's uh, reminded the Romans. So he reminded the Romans that uh, anyone who calls on the name of Christ will be saved. But how can they call on the name of Christ if they do not believe in him? And how can they believe in him if they have not heard? And how can they hear unless there are preachers? And that's what the Athenaeum is all about.